Welcome to eVision Live with Dr. Alexandra Kleeberg and Dietrich Busacker. Welcome to your happy, healthy, fulfilled life. This episode is brought to you by the eVision Institute and it's about self-healing and potential development. And today's topic, and we are now approaching Christmas, is the inner child. The inner child is the first episode. We will have two episodes about this and we will cover the phase of conception and pregnancy. And the inner child, so we will discuss what is the inner child, maybe what has this to do with Christmas, how to get into contact with your inner child and to how to free your inner child. So the inner child is something very special and I am really curious to know about what is the inner child, Alexandra? And what has this to do with the Christmas story? Yes, so these are two questions. The inner child comes from Carl Gustav Jung. He talks about the archetype of childhood and the holy child. The divine child. child, the divine child, and this has been later used in several psychotherapies as an explanation and as exercises for dealing with certain symptoms. Mm -hmm. Related to some effects, some, something that happens during your childhood. Exactly. The archetype of childhood for me is has to do with spontaneity, creativity, with uh, authenticity, mm -hmm. heartfulness. The, the child is very authentic and that's the light side of this archetype. The dark side is dependency. Mm -hmm. You're totally dependent as a child and you're even more than totally dependent during pregnancy, right? Mm -hmm. So, when I talk about this in my groups, I have this sentence, every symptom, either physical or psychological, is an inner child crying. Wow. Mm -hmm. And there is something, like the, the symptom is a gate, and it's a gate to the inner child, in my perception. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of motivated people in my groups. They do a lot of exercises, they read a lot of stuff, and they still don't get rid of the symptoms. Mm -hmm. And they say, I don't know what to do anymore. I've done this, I've done that. I'm practicing joy, I'm practicing love, I practice authenticity. I don't really know what's wrong with me that I get asthma or cancer or whatever. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it is something we are not aware of. And it happened before our conscious mind started working. So we can't really remember it by this frontal brain. Mm -hmm. We might remember it by our skin, by our organs, by our body and our unconsciousness, mm -hmm. but not as a memory. Because our conscious memory was not aware of the trauma at that, at that time. time. Yes. Okay. So I tell them it might be some trauma, some stress during pregnancy or even during conception. Mm -hmm. And most of the time this people are relieved and relaxed by this because that's something they, they found then. Mm -hmm. And some say, oh, I was not a wanted child, I was mm, not okay. longed for. There are some that were born or were conceived by rape and some by brutality. So there is diff different styles, different ways to come into this earth and this, on this and planet. Yeah. Yeah. And there are some ways that are traumatizing. We don't have research on how that traumatizes the child. There is some research in Germany about uh, sexual abuse mm -hmm. and children that were, were, were conceived by rape. 
and they differentiate between rape by a partner or rape by just somebody on the road that's different because in the case it's the partner then it might stay he might stay during the pregnancy and even uh, while the child is growing up mm -hmm. and some don't even know their father mm -hmm. so this might stress the mother this might stress the total environment if you are raised in a Catholic or Protestant environment or religious environment we know of some countries when uh, women get pregnant by rape they the child is not wanted yes, or, the, or the, the, the women are whores so it might have been a challenge to come into this world and for those people I created a sentence there is a force within or outside that is bigger than the mother and the father in the conception act that brought you onto this earth okay and so if you're not wanted have your by your parents your mm -hmm. parents by your the family around it then they try, did everything to prevent to, to get you but there was something that brought you into this world that was force either within or without you force. don't know that and this is gives them a sort of identity mm -hmm. a lot of them said oh i'm not wanted i don't know if i can hold a speech or, or if i can uh, call for more money on my job or if i can do this and that because i'm not wanted i'm, I'm nobody likes me and so forth but there was and something that was so strong was that you got into the world. So yes. this is a good message. Yes. So this is a relief yes. for most really. of them. And gives them their identity. My mother didn't want me. My father hated me. But there was a force within or outside, we don't know, or both, that mm -hmm. brought me into this world. And this force was stronger than my parents, than the situation, maybe even than society. And when we look at conception we know it's very statistically it's um, very it's, low probability that it's, that low it's you that coming out yes <laughs> it's, you're born for conception the probability has a certain percentage but then the the the, the egg has to move to into the womb and it has to uh, get nourished in this womb so there are a lot of challenges a lot of challenges of and risk the and probability yeah. mm. for this act and then to develop all the organs and are born healthy the probability for that is not very high so, so you are a miracle Every, you are a miracle listen to this everybody on this earth actually is a miracle he or she has gone through very many challenges and she is a well, he is a winner yes and you have a heritage of winners in your back because all those other females and males have survived in yeah. a way they adapted they created they they brought your parents your grandparents your great great grandparents into this world so this is really a miracle mm -hmm. so if your mother didn't like you your father didn't want you you are a miracle and there is a force bigger than them inside or outside or wherever which brought you into this world but I need to get aware of this because what well, I wouldn't say that is that easy I wouldn't have thought of it this this really could affect much in Sometimes my life. Sometimes people get self-esteem by that mm -hmm. they feel oh, oh I'm somebody he, she has a nice mother but I have a big force so this might raise up the self-esteem the inner peace with this life mm -hmm. So this is something you can work on, so to say. And the other part is the pregnancy. There is a, there are a lot of challenges in that. Mm -hmm. You get nourished through your mother. So you get all the hormones and by that all the feelings of your mother in your heart and blood circulation. Mm -hmm. So it's mother and you are sort of one to one. So and all the information of your mother is more or less inside of you. Yes, and it informates you, the body. Mm -hmm. 
and there is also the water in the womb Mm -hmm. which swings, which uh, has a certain concentration and that's the environment you're in and you feel it on your skin mm -hmm. and then you can also hear and sense the environment of your mother mm -hmm. like when the father screams or yells or the mother so, yells or screams yes, yeah. we now know that the embryo has information about everything that's around him or her mm -hmm. and that might be a challenge it might be stressful because the mother is stressed like I have some clients that were born just after the war and the mother had five or six children the father was dead and she said oh another child it's so exhausting it's I, I don't have the strength mm. or she mm. says oh this is the last child from this man I have to occupy it and shelter it and have to stick very close mm. so it might be in either way mm. and there might be stress in the family which the child feels and senses there might be stress in the partnership there might be money stress or whatever so we now know that all that affects the child on an unconscious level, on a bodily level. Mm -hmm. So like, there's an, uh, it's, the child is affected, or me, I, I'm a dad, I'm affected by these traumas in my well, very, very, very mm -hmm. early uh, embryo state, yes. and which I'm not aware of. And you and think this is normal, because uh, you've had it from the very beginning on, yeah. you think it's normal, uh, that's what life is like mm -hmm. so you don't reflect it we call it it's uh, you're you're contaminated through this mm -hmm. you're programmed through this so you can't reflect it because you say that's life that's life it's life that's for me normal. Yeah. that's that's so it. you might start to reflect it when you later on get symptoms or something else comes in the way but so, how can I learn about it now about this uh, this um, this inner child, or how can I get into contact? How can I find out that it is something with my inner child? I, for me, the symptom is a crying inner child. Okay. And you go through the door of the symptom, mm -hmm. and you imagine this inner child, and that's where the Christmas story comes in. Mm -hmm. Like the f about twenty, thirty years ago, we said, oh. That's what it was, and you can't do anything about it. Yeah. And there are a lot of children that were born too early. And we know they are getting more and more into addiction or depression or anxiety, so the probability for that is higher than for a child that mm -hmm. has been carried nine months. Mm -hmm. So we said, there's nothing you can do about it. You can support this, you can try to help, maybe you can give medication, but that's all. But we know, for example, that children that were born too early, if you caress them a lot mm -hmm. and touch them, mm -hmm. the little babies, they get bigger faster. They grow faster? They grow faster. Wow. And they start to learn better. So awesome. we have this video on the power of touch, so this is very important. Mm -hmm. But what if you haven't known that, you're maybe 40 years old and this time has passed, new science has a new approach. Mm -hmm. That it's never too late to have a brilliant erotic conception <laughs> and to have a very cozy pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So this has not been researched very much, but that is the way I work and I know my people love it. Mm -hmm. And some healing took place during the imagination. So what we do is we go back into the womb, some clean the womb, some, some just clean anxiety out of it or depression or stress. We might even clean the heart and the circular system. We might go back to the conception, we might mm -hmm. even go farther back. 
Okay, I'm starting to imagine. I'm starting to close my eyes. Yes. I'm getting now in the womb and I'm trying to feel into this. And, and we know that our brain is so, so, so intelligent that it can't differentiate <laughs> between a real experience and the imagination. There's okay. a lot of proof to that. There's yeah, a this, lot of research on yeah, that. This clear. That imagination affects everything. So what I do in my groups, and I put this imagination on the link there, is that we go back through time, we go back and cleanse this traumatic pregnancy or conception, we go back in time and in a place beyond space and time, mm -hmm. and then create an erotic conception maybe, or yeah, a loving awesome. conception, mm -hmm. a caring pregnancy, and that's where the Jesus story comes in. Oh. Jesus was expected from wise people and seers for, I think, decades, maybe centuries, I'm not sure about that. Centuries, I think, yes. But legends had talked about that mm -hmm. there will be a child of light, mm -hmm. that the Savior will come and the world was looking for it and even the stars shone in a special way mm -hmm. okay. the kings came so it's a story of a child really 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 wanted from everybody mm -hmm. so this would give you another view on your own story you create the story of a child which is you that is wanted that's that is longed for from the universe itself mm -hmm. from okay. mankind itself people wanted this they were looking forward they were joyful so this is and what we can learn if we are christians or if we are not christians if we are yes. uh, buddhists I, I muslims think, or whatever yes, I think so we can other, learn from this story other religions also have stories about the divine child it's mm -hmm. not only christianity it's they have other children but they have this story of the divine child a lot of oh, cultures okay. do have that okay. so we imagine we are welcomed the stars jubilated at the date of our conception the father was proud the mother was loving Mm -hmm. And they really, really wanted to have this child. And we imagine a wonderful pregnancy with mm -hmm. lots and love, with people who supported the parents, with big families who nourished the parents and encouraged them. And so we create by the power of imagination a new life and we go into the womb and we caress the embryo. Wow. We caress the little hands, the little feet the heart and we might even care especially those parts which later m might have become a problem like the lungs or the heart or, okay. the, or the elbow or the the neck or whatever so we crawl the neck so we sort of bring this touch back into the womb mm -hmm. with the imagination and sometimes we even do role reversal we are this little embryo and we get touched and caressed and told and and just hugged okay so this is the imagination you will get to so create yourself a new conception a new pregnancy so this is so important for feeling trust in life or feeling anxiety or fear it's so important for the big question we often ask is this universe friendly or unfriendly yes so, so do you decide at that moment that already your conception was in a friendly universe? Yes, and this is the Jesus story. Yes, the the, the, the stars universe, even jubilated. The uni universe jubilated. It's true. They're not the uh, not everything jubilated around. But him. not at that part. That not came, at that part. That came comes later. later. That came okay, later. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So, so we take well, just the light part of the Jesus mm. story. So it's difficult for me to imagine how this can work. But on the other hand, when I go into myself and feel into myself, this feels good. 
uh, it being feels in the good. world and, uh, and, and I just I imagining a, a, a nice conception, a nice pregnancy and everything. Well, you have had that. When okay, but to... even if I think about it, if it, it feels good to have had something, if I had it or have it not, in my imagination it feels good. You were a longed for child, absolutely, and that's the way you move it through this world or in this world. I was sort of a neutral child. My mother said, mm, it's okay, but it shouldn't, it didn't have to be. But since it happened, it's okay. Um, so it's a different approach my mother had, okay. different feelings. And But you have this, this uh, deep trust in life. It's the way you move, the way you contact is much different. As I am now, I had to learn this by a lot of self-experience, self-therapy and everything I did that I now feel grounded and wanted in life. For mm -hmm. me this was a process and for mm -hmm. you it was a basis. Okay, but I can imagine a good basis and I can... That's what I did. So I did. What, I, but this I can overcome all the obstacles that have been there. This is my experience. It's not research, it's my experiences and when I ask my groups which imaginations do you want, in 60% of the cases they want the imagination with the inner child. Well, and it's not yet on the internet, so it's the first time that it's going to be published now. Yes. So you will find the link here below. And thank you, Alexander, for this. So you will have to, uh, to inscribe your email to it, so to register in order to get it. Uh, if you don't want to do it, you can buy it in a few weeks on Amazon. Okay, so... Thank you so much and Alexandra and thank you so much of being here with us so once more thank you and open your heart and